Welcome back guys, in this lecture we'll see how to create this contact form and how to put this information. So let's get started. So come back on your contact us page, make sure your visual builder is enabled. Now click on this plus button, click on regular. Now we want two columns, so select two columns from here. In the first column, search for contact form and select this one, the contact form. Now here automatically all these three are created name, email address and message. Okay. And when you scroll down, you'll see this email title. Make sure under email address, you put in your own email address, email address where you want all the information to be redirected. Okay. So when you put in this email address, now when anyone fills this form and click on submit button, you know, this Im uh, information will be submitted to this email address. Okay, now we have to put a title. As you can see, here is a title. So just put this title. Now you can see the title over here. Now this is very important, message pattern. Now again, when you see the file which you, which is there in the resource, uh, you will find a code over there. So let's open the file. When in this file, scroll down to the bottom and you'll see these three lines. Just copy this line and paste it over here, which says my name is this code my email address is this my message is this so basically you will receive uh, email like my name is and when the person uh, enters this name over here instead of this code his name will be written instead of uh, you know his uh, this code his email address will be written and instead of this code the message which we, which he'll type will be written over here so this code is very important this code and this email address is very important if you don't do this properly you won't get any messages from your okay then when you scroll down uh, there is uh, enable redirect URL option it's all up to you whether you want you don't want this then also there is a display capture I personally prefer you should have a captcha so that you know uh, you are safe from spamming and so on but uh, for the sake of simplicity you can disable this also it's all up to you okay now coming over here in uh, in the first option it is name field title input field don't change this field and everything let it be the same i would suggest so click on this save changes and make sure again i'm saying make sure the email address is correct and the code is correct the code is present in the file which i have given you the last three lines uh, this is the code just copy and paste this code over here okay now click on save changes so we are done with this one now we have to add this information so just copy this because you know typing this will take a lot of time now click on this plus button and click on text okay now paste everything over here but if you see now everything when we pasted everything became bold all the thing changed automatically but if it doesn't then you have to change it from here you know here when you select this line you know, when you select this thing it's it says heading 3 you can if you want to increase the size you can select heading 2 or heading 1 as you can see the size increases and basically this uh, portion is paragraph then when we scroll down the address is paragraph but it is bold okay so you can make all these changes here you instead of this number you can put in your mobile number instead of this timing you can put in your business hours instead of this address put in your address okay now click on save changes so we are done with this thing also we are done with the contact us page also make sure you save all the changes which you have done okay now only one thing is left according to me uh, that is the sidebar the product sidebar let me show you what I mean by that okay as you can see when we click on any category as you can see there is a sidebar over here but when we we first of all don't have uh, any category over here but when we click on all products you know we see this sidebar which is you know not that good we don't want this kind of sidebar so we'll be uh, doing some changes uh, in this sidebar and we'll also be doing these changes in menu so you know so that we'll be adding more menus this category menu and wish list button and all these things in the upcoming lectures 
and uh, probably in the next lecture we'll be doing the sidebar setting okay so see you guys in the next lecture till then take care